Hey guys, welcome to this review on the newest Windows Live Messenger 2011. Now as you notice here, I'm at the website. I'll post this link in the description. By the way, it is not possible to downgrade from the new Live Windows Live Messenger to the old one you used to have. To me, I like the new one because I can run the effects. If it doesn't work for you, probably because of your low graphics card. Reasons are, that's why. It's great for Windows 7 and Windows Vesta, not so sure about Windows XP. But it's pretty good, so go ahead and download it. So let me start it up. I really like it because it's a bit bigger, and the transitions are really cool when you first start it up. So as I get it starting up, you'll notice this transition. There we go. So let me just log in so I can show you it. All right, I got mine done. I'm gonna sign in as available. Click on sign in, and it's signing in. I love the transitions there. Pretty cool, huh? Or if you don't like it, um, get used to it. That's how everything is. If you get something new, you gotta get used to it. Change, change, change. So as you get it started up, here comes up the Windows Live Messenger window. Okay, it's pretty big, and what's pretty cool, um, it has a great area here. You can hook other accounts from, let's say, MySpace and Facebook onto uh, your Windows Live Messenger to share your statuses. If you don't like the big thing here, you don't want to look at MSN and such here. Unfortunately, I did not uh, correct that. Uh, oh, there it is. It works. So um, it's pretty cool because you can look at the news. You can't browse the web, but it's pretty decent. If you want to switch to the original compact size of Windows Live Messenger, just click on this icon at the top right. It will bring you back to the original. As you notice that transition effect whenever you change. Sorry for the lag, but it's pretty cool. And it's really good because I really love the transitions. And it's all about looks to me. The stability on it is very decent. And it's pretty good. And you can just click on the picture there and you can go ahead and change it. And of course, I'm Micro Helper. You can change the background too. Um, I forgot how. I think you click here, personalize, and then change your theme. They added some new themes here, which are really great. They're mostly taken from Windows 7 and a bit other customizable ones off the internet, or they created. And you get the theme. You can set it bigger, and it's pretty big. It's pretty good. Um, I suggest getting it. It's great for your use. And yeah, I love it. You can hook up Facebook, MySpace, and you can connect more services if you hover to the right over here. So yeah, it's pretty good. Go ahead and get it. If you don't like it, uh, too bad. Make sure your computer meets the requirements in order to use Windows Live Messenger 2011. It's really good. And thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.